Welcome back to the class on electrical vehicles and hybrid electrical vehicle. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the modeling of permanent magnet synchronous motor. Permanent magnet synchronous motor is nothing but on the rotor we are keeping a permanent magnets. This is the rotor, north pole and south pole. The stator is equipping with a three phase winding which is displaced by 120 degrees in a space electrically. Whenever we are giving a three phase voltage to the stator winding, the rotating field will be creating from the stator winding. By means of a external source or damper winding, we have to make rotating the rotor in the same direction of a stator flux. The speed of the rotor is equal to the synchronous speed that is equal to ns equal to 120f by p. Whenever the rotor is rotating at a speed synchronous speed, then you have to give the excitation to the rotor winding. There is a magnetic locking between the rotor flux as well as a stator flux. So the rotor also will be rotating at a synchronous. This is the basic principle operation of a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Axis of the three stator windings and DQ axis also shown in the diagram. We have taken the sum of the assumptions when you are going to model the permanent magnet synchronous motor. The first one is the saturation effect is neglected. The inductance versus rotor position is sinusoidal. The voltage induced in the stator winding due to the flux coming from the rotor that is the sinusoidal. So based upon the above assumptions, if we write the stator voltage equation on the rotor reference frame, VQS R VDS R equal to impedance matrix into current matrix into dynamically induced voltage in a stator winding. Now, if we express the torque development in a permanent magnet synchronous motor in DQ components of the currents, then T equal to 3 by 2 into P by 2 in, into flux linkage of a phase A plus stator inductance in D axis minus stator inductance in Q axis into IDS R into IQS R. We know the torque balance equation in the motor. The developed torque equal to dynamic torque plus low torque B into omega M nothing but a. We got this values from the equation 1. Nothing but by means of this matrix we can convert the DQ components of stator voltage to the ABC frame. This matrix is nothing but a inverse power transformation. Now we got the values of ABC voltages. Now we have to transfer these values into the DQ frame ABC by multiplying this vector gives the IQS IDS I0 on the rotor reference frame. This matrix is nothing but a power transformation. So the complete dynamic modeling of a PMSM motor on a reference rotor frame equal to P is nothing but a derivative. This is a straight space equation of a permanent magnet synchronous motor. The derivative of this current vectors and speed vector and angular position of a rotor that is equal to this is a IQS IDS omega r theta r multiply with a matrix plus voltage vector and load torque will be multiplied with a this matrix. This is nothing but a from the above equation you can also calculate the torque Doppler induction motor that is equal to 3 by 2 into P by 2 into lambda AF plus LD minus LQ into IDSR into IQS R. See so these two parameters are referred to the rotor reference frame where LD and LQ are the stator inductance in a D axis and stator inductance in Q axis. Lambda AF is nothing but a flux linkage of a phase A. To implement the vector control of a PMSM drive, the rotor position information is necessary. Electromagnetic torque developed in a PMSM can be written as a T star nothing but a reference torque that is equal to 3 by 2 into P by 2 into lambda AF IS star sin delta star plus 1 by 2 LD minus LQ IS star square into sin 2 delta. The magnitude of reference flux linkage is, is given by the equation 9 lambda M star equal to square root of LAF plus LD IS star cos delta star into 2 plus LQ IS star sin delta star into 2. Now the reference currents are generated by using the following equations. So by means of these equations we can also generate the reference currents for the permanent magnet synchronous motor. All these equations are representing the modeling of a permanent magnet synchronous motor. These modeling equations we are going to use to control the permanent magnet synchronous motor which we are going to use in a electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles.
Thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I am always welcome to answer the hard questions.